Have you ever been in a situation where you go to a coffee shop or a pub or something like that, and your friend says to you something like this, this person really is so unkind to me and unpleasant to me at work, they're so horrible, they're so mean, they're so nasty, they bully me, and I get so upset and so stressed. Have you ever had that kind of conversation? Kind of poor me, right? Yes, you hear that sort of story. Quite common. Now, normally you would listen to that, we call that a narrative, a story. In NLP, we look at it differently, coaching as well. Say, I'm interested in that, that's really interesting. You consistently get upset. How do you do it? What is the process you do to get upset? So it says, well, that's a bit of a weird question for you to ask me. You say, well, just play with me, try it. Okay, so how do I do it? Let's see. Well, I remember a picture of the person's face. I then say to myself, this is wrong, it's not fair. And I then feel a pain in my chest. Ugh. Oh, so that's how you do it. That's a process of getting upset, which is different from the content. Does that make sense? So ultimately your job as an NLP coach or trainer or is to help somebody move out of the content into process. Simple as that. Once they begin to stand back from the issue and understand what's going on within themselves, they then have more choices. I've also said in the moment, because the other thing that you can find with this is, uh, this is probably more from a sort of therapy perspective, um, is that if somebody comes into therapy, often the story they believe about themselves is not what you, as a coach, will experience. Here's an example. Somebody comes and sits down and says, I'm a very nice person, I'm very gentle and I'm very kind, and people are nasty to me. Now, if somebody says that to you, right, what's your response? Yeah? Well, your response would be, in the process of communication, in the moment, right now, between you and me, mm. rather than the story you're telling me about your past, mm. In this moment, when you were talking, I felt intimidated. That was my experience. Does that make sense? Yeah. So I think that's also a, kind of another sort of feature, that in coaching, there's something really important of the connection you have in the moment with the person. Yeah? Because that often gives you more information, but I know as a client that I go in, I have a story and a problem and I want to solve it and I want my coach to kind of help me make a decision and all this and I want help with my story. But I also sometimes need some probably bigger help with the way I'm processing generally. 